I guess some advice I could give people is you got to go with your gut. You got to go with what feels right. And you got to do what makes you happy. Um, sometimes it's not easy because it involves taking risks. And sometimes the future is totally uncertain. You don't know what's going to happen next, you know. But I believe if you follow your gut and you do what makes you happy and you follow your passion and you don't listen to people that tell you you can't do this, you can't do that, that's not going to work, yeah, but, you know, there's too many people doing it, you're not going to be able to do it. Well, guess what? They're right. And if you follow their advice, you're not going to be able to do it. But here I am, living proof, 55 years old. I'm in the Mediterranean Sea on the island of Cyprus, doing what I love, teaching Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I've got a van that me and my fiance bought that we're going to basically camp in and live on a piece of land here. And, you know, this is my life. This is what I love doing. This is kind of what I wanted. And I found it here, of all places, after traveling around the world. You know, <clears throat> I grew up in France. My father was a businessman. My mother was kind of a housewife. You know, and us kids were just left to fend for ourselves. And we all ended up in different corners of the planet. But... I like my little corner, you know, and this is mine. This is where I'm at. So, you know, find your corner. Find that place where you want to be at and go there, you know. Stop going to that nine to five fucking job every day, listening to some asshole manager or something telling you what you should be doing and what you can't be doing. You know, get out there. Figure out what's for you. What, what do you want to do, man? You know? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, obviously at times you have to put up with it. You're going to have somebody. I've had people telling me what to do, but in the back of my mind, I've always had what I want and what I'm going to get. And it doesn't take a bunch of money. It just takes guts. I would even say it takes balls, you know. So look at this place. Not a soul my own big huge private swimming pool in the med up there is North Cyprus places occupied by the Turks and like there's this border that splits the island in two and I, there's all this old history war stuff from 1974 when they couldn't agree on anything and they decided to have a war and split the island in two but, you know, this is just conflict stuff, but who cares? <laughs> At the end of the day, really, who fucking cares? Enjoy your life. Stop worrying about other people's shit. Do what you love. Love what you do. That's all I got to say. Fucking enjoy it. Simple. Eat right. Drink water. Don't fucking do drugs. Don't be an idiot. Fucking drugs, alcohol, all that crap. It's just going to fucking take you down the wrong road. You know? Find what you really love. Find your passion. Do it. Most people that get hung up on drugs and alcohol and whatever, they haven't found nothing. They don't know what they want. They're going out. They're looking for something out there instead of looking inside themselves to find what it is, where they're at. So, anyway, that's all I got to say. Just wanted to share that with you guys. And if you're doing what you love or you're chasing what you love, man, good for you. Keep it up because you'll find it if you haven't found it already for sure. And right now my fiance has COVID. I just fucking got COVID. I didn't get any vaccines for it either. I got for the third time I had COVID and this time it was really minor. I didn't give it to anybody. I didn't fucking go around and spread it all over the place. Just my choice was not to get a vaccine, you know. Don't let the freaking government and people tell you what the fuck you're supposed to do because <laughs> anyway, I won't get into that, but 
Okay, guys, I'm going to sign off here and just enjoy my swim and listen to the water. Just, I was just in here and I was like, man, I wish I could just film this for people so they can kind of see what, what's going on here. I got to keep my phone out of the water, though, because if it goes in, it's going to wreck. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is me swimming. I'm not going to film myself if I can show my face. No use, man. Just check out the water. Imagine it's you. You're swimming around. It's nice and warm. You get your van on the beach, freaking cool. And in that van, I can do everything. I can cook, I can sleep. I just wish that Nikki and the dogs were with me right now. I don't really like going out by myself. I get scared. No, just kidding. Okay, <clears throat> I was just saying that for you, Nikki, because I want you to know that I miss you and love you so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh, shit. My phone's getting go underwater. Okay, I got to sign off. Hang on, I gotta put my shoe on. Okay, there it is. All right, I'm gonna swim in now, hang on. This is one of those movies where then all of a sudden the big giant great white shark comes. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see if I can stand up. Getting sick of this dun, dun. Oh, there it is, there's the rock. I got my foot on it. Yep, my foot on it. And for you guys, in jiu-jitsu we're going to be doing a camp soon so i'll put an ad up on facebook i'll let you all know when we're going to do it it's going to be fun as shit i hope you can all make it and uh come down and enjoy some of this beauty all right take care everyone peace out